Hi, I'm Tim and you're watching Mr. Tim Tech on YouTube. Welcome to this video, Unify Quick Tips Tuesday. Now in this video, I'm going to show you a couple of quick tips that you might find useful in your Unify network controller. So the first one is, here we are at the login page for our Unify OS. And as you can see in the address bar here, we have the IP address for logging into my Unify network controller, which is 192.168.1.1. Now, instead of that, having to type in your IP address, did you know that you can also type in the name of your Unify network controller? So in this case, it is ROU01, which is what I've named it here. So you can type in ROU01 dot local domain so that's rou01 dot local domain and press enter and this will also take you into your unify network controller once you've gone through the connection privacy message so proceed to ru01 dot local domain and there it takes you into your unify os login screen so now we'll move on to the second tip here we are logged in to my Unify network controller and what I've done is clicked on client devices at the left hand side option and as you can see we've got a list of my client devices which are currently connected to my Unify network. Now what we can do is for example let's choose VOI01 which is for my voice over IP telephone so we'll select this and what you would normally have to do again to log into your device control panel is you would have to type in the IP address that's listed in your list of client devices. So in this case we have 192.168.4.101 as you'll see here. So what we can do is bring up the window for the settings at the right hand side which I've done here so I've just clicked on the line for that device then we go to settings which is the gear icon then you'll see we've got the name of the device so it's VOI01 now what you can do is tick the fixed IP address box then in the IP address box that appears underneath fixed IP address is put the IP address of that device in there so in this case it's already in there at 192.168.4.101 just make sure that that IP address matches the IP address here in the list of devices and once you've confirmed that all you need to do is tick local DNS record then for the box that appears under local DNS record here type in VOI 01 and then dot and then type in local domain so in the local dns record box we've got voi 01 dot local domain obviously you just change voi 01 to whatever name of the device you want and once you've done that click apply changes in the bottom right corner and then close that pop-up window and then if we open a new tab in our browser so in the address bar at the top type in https colon forward slash forward slash voi 01 dot local domain so that's just to confirm we've type in https colon forward slash forward slash voi 01 dot local domain so that's the name voi 01 dot local domain is the name that we typed in to that pop-up window in the list of client devices press enter and here you will be presented with your connection is not private message click advanced click proceed and there you go it takes you into the login page for your device control panel so instead of having to remember all the IP addresses to type in the address bar here all you can do is go into the Unify network controller select your device select settings and in the local DNS record put your device name in there what you want 
to associate with your device and don't forget to tick the fixed IP address box as well and also just to check that the IP address what you enter in there or what's already in there matches the IP address for the list of devices so that's a couple of quick tips for the unified network controller hope you found this video useful keep a look out more videos coming soon thanks for watching uh, bye for now